Good evening, everybody. My name is Samuel Okoye. I greet you all. I see you for the land of Biafra, the land of rising sun. Time now is 11 to 1 p.m. Saturday, Friday, sorry, Friday, the 27th day of August 2021. I want to bring you an advanced method of Elliot wave analysis and some harmonic patterns to, to support the Elliot wave. So I will cover some pairs, maybe DSY, EUUSD, EUJPY, EUGBP, EUAU, the EU Zealand, EUCHF, EUCAD, EUUSD card, EUSDJPY, EUSDCHF, EUUSD, NZUUSD, EUD card, EUDNZSD, and EUUSD. Then on Sunday, if I have the time and chance, I will cover the rest. I do this tonight because early morning I will be leave for village for something important. <clears throat> and if I don't do it now, I may not be able to do anything again this week. So let me try to cover some things before I go to bed. It's already late. It's already late. So I begin DXY, <clears throat> excuse me, DXY is going up currently. I mean, on bigger time frame, on bigger time frame, it seems to be going up, but uh, it have reversed on our time frame. Okay, and uh, that's the pattern we are looking at here. So if, if this pattern continues to play out, is a harmonic pattern. If the pattern continues to play out, we will likely get to $84. Maybe <clears throat> in coming months, or maybe within two months, we may get to $24. Sorry, $84. Or maybe before the year runs out. So this pattern is, is somehow will likely play out. So we go to lower time frame. Now to daily. To daily, uh, to daily we can see that price of, and of course we, the price have completed the A, B, C. You know, you know, the price is going down, and uh, we have a reversal. Okay. Uh, the only difference, and of course, the only difference is that I, in my last forecast, I was of the opinion that it, it would likely go to 94 and 95, but it, it couldn't get there. And now it has reversed. So I don't expect it to go to 95, 94 point something anymore. So I will be looking for. Sell opportunity henceforth. Okay. So once we get under big drop, then I'll forget about buying. I mean, once we get below below 91, once you get below once you get below 92.47, once the sell goes below to possible, so then I will no longer look for buy again. But now buy is still possible, okay? Once we go below this level, then forget about buying for now. We will looking towards getting to <clears throat> 88, 87, 86, 84, 85, and so on. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. EuroUSD and DSY is the same thing that's happening on EuroUSD is happen on DSY. The only uh, difference is that it goes opposite direction. So on USD, we have the, the same kind of pattern again on that. So hopefully, we are going to 1.3 to 1 point. We are going to 1.28, 1.3, 1.31, 3, 1 1.32 area. So now let's go to Daily.
on daily, we already have a big candle. This type of move is a big move. And if it continues to go, once it goes above 1.19, I will no longer look for sell. I will look for buy because the, the next will be 1.22122, then 1.23, 1.24, and so on. So um, if you are still selling the USD, you think twice, OK? Because here, you may, you may likely get uh, a kind of three waves pullback. back. From here, and then the bigger buying will continue. So, uh, trade with care. Selling is risky on USD. The same way buying is risky on DXY for now. So, your USD, uh, your JPY, we, we also have a pattern developing a bigger time frame on this. Okay, so the pattern, if the pattern continues to play out, we likely get to 145, at least 142, 143, 144, 145 in coming months. So, having, mean, why I'm showing you this, this, why I'm showing you this is that we bear in mind that some pattern is developing on bigger time frame. So we don't get carried away. If, if, if not, it is going down. We should be conscious of that the main trend, the dominant trend is up. So that's why I show you all this. So let's go to daily. On daily, you can see that we, we even have a good reason to buy your JPY. This is a good reason to buy your JPY. You can see a channel that, that has been broken. So what again do you need as a confirmation? So, once we get uh, a stronger buyer, then we, we, the buying will continue. First of all, we go back to 134.2, then we cross it towards 140. So let's have that in mind. Let's have that, that in mind. As we are, in case you see a drop, don't think that we are selling. It will, it will likely be a correction. Okay. We move on. The next is Euro GBP. Euro GBP, I'll only show you four hours on this one. Okay. And in that four hours, we have three options. Let me say three options. The reason is I said three options is that the possibility of the pair coming lower to this level exists. But, but what I'm, I'm looking at is that uh, this correction might have been over as a contracting flat. Mm -hmm. Then it can be a zigzag. A, B, C and go up. It can only be uh, a bigger zigzag or maybe double zigzag. It can make A, B, C. I mean, W, X, Y, X, Z, and go up. So the, in all this, I don't encourage selling. I only, I'm only, I'm only looking for buy on this very pair. You know, AUD. On this very one, I expected a deeper pullback. If you watch my, my last analysis, I was expecting a deeper pullback, something like this. Uh, something like this, A, B, C, before the selling. But you can see, of course, is the three waves Two back anyway, but not such visible on four hours. Okay. But anyway, in any case, uh, I never encourage buying on this anyway, because I like to uh, either sell with A and C. 
we have C, they might be difficult to sell. So this is the, the thread we have here. Then after that, we will be looking at what happens around this area. Will the drop continue? It may, it may, not, it may not get to this line, but here is the, the uh, normal target is this line. So let's watch out for that. The market opens on Sunday night. You know, New Zealand. Like you know, New Zealand and you know, AUD are this damn thing. So what do, I, what do I expect here? I just expect uh, a further drop. A little drop again to this level. Then the buying will continue. But mind you, before it, it drop, it may make some move like this. It may waste time. So not a most if it, it drop immediately, it may waste time and drop. Maybe it, it, may, it may do something like this. So if 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 you can't hear, you see how many bars? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 18 bars. So such, such can happen again. 18 bars, at least 18 times by four hours. You, you, you will know it's a pretty long time. Okay, so don't think it just drop within one day. It will take two days or even three days before it drops. So have that at the back of your head. Okay, so we continue. Euro chef. Euro chef, as we are looking for further drop, we have something on bigger time frame. We have a pattern on bigger time frame. Let's take a one hour. So this pattern, this pattern is developing. Okay, so, but I, I just want to show you the pattern we are looking at that we likely play out in few months, but maybe before the year runs out or in the next two or three months. So one, we're looking for the buy, which we get this pair to 1.13, 1 1.4, 1 1.5. Even 1.6. But one thing I must tell you is that the possibility of further drop still exists. So why I show you why I'm showing you all these options is that if you are on my Telegram channel, you can save this chat because I drop the chat. If you are if you are on my Telegram channel, you can you can save the chat for for further reference. Okay. So. We have two options here. This, let me shift this. This is a drop, and this drop triggers a further selling. Now, this drop, will it drop, will it make a new low? So, you know, this is, this is the, the, the current low, 1.0692. Are we going to have a new low? Will it reverse? First option is that, it will reverse here and go up. Secondly, it will make a new low. So that's the thing. And if it, if it makes a new low, it means this very channel will now start here. Okay, but for now, let me leave it here. Because in my first bias, I think it will not make a new low. In case if, in case if it, it, it makes a new low, then there's no problem. We will we, we, we just shift this, uh, ZD here and others and start trading from here upwards. But for now, uh, if we get if we if we get the person or a flag, we will sell. We will sell before we look for buy. Okay. You look at you look at. We are, we are uh, this uh, 
very drop. Of course, I, I, no, anyway, I was I was surprised uh, on this bed drop, and, and I said that we, we like to have a big drop. Though, in my opinion, I thought we will have something like this. And maybe from here, we get a correction from here before it drop again. But it's dropped so straight for, for many days before giving us this, uh, this correction. Now, what do we expect? First of all, this can be the only pullback. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, it's, 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 it's gotten to a standard level of a correction. So we may just get another move like this before dropping, or we may get an outright dropping. If, if something like this might happen again, something like this from here, we can see it to drop again. Just the way it dropped like, like this, it can happen here again. So we watch the market open, so we know the one that is playing out. But I would not like to miss this cell. Uh, and I would not like to, you to miss this cell. So now this is uh, the idea. Because uh, if I get a little pullback on Monday, something like this, I, I will either I sell, I open an order, or I press a sell stop, then the stop will be here. Because I know, even if it comes up again, it, it, will, it will rest within this blue box. Then selling will drop. It will drop because the same way it dropped here. Okay, so that's what I, I have for this on this one. USD card. On USD card, Uh, it's not dropping, but I'm I'm in doubt if this dropping will uh will drop will still drop much. Okay, I don't think it will drop drop but but our standard uh target is this low one point two four four area. 1.245 and so on. Okay, but it will just hit this very channel and go back. So first option, it will, it will give us a correction and drop like this. Secondly, it will just give us the two pullback, come to this level and go up. So bear these two options in mind, okay? Yes, this is JPY. Yes, JPY. The long awaited dropping began uh, in the evening of Friday. Okay, we, we are still on Friday. So it began in the evening. I've been waiting for this drop. Okay, so I'm hoping we get this. Okay, so now. Now it's time to trade this, and the stop loss will be here. Stop loss will be here, but I think it's going to go. I hope this time, uh, this time around. So hopefully, the selling will continue towards this blue box. Okay, so it's a sell market. I don't see reason to buy it now. Same goes with the USD chef. USD chef, they are doing the same almost. The, 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 the same thing. So you can see a nice drop. It has, she has made a nice drop. So how do we trade this? Hopefully we get correction. W, X, Y, or something like that, or flag. And how then the, the final drop. And the, in my opinion, after this drop, we have a very big buy. Something like this, we, we like it happen. This type of move may happen after this drop, or this type of move will happen. And one. Yes, these are. Ah. 
Yes, this uh, in my last analysis, I was of, I was of, of the opinion that we want to go lower than this very channel. But you can see it pierces and seems to be going further down. Okay, and of course, that that that's to show you that you, you cannot be right all the time. In, uh, since it is, it is an uh, analysis, you will, you must be right all the time. Sometimes your your analysis will fail. Sometimes it will go as casted. Okay, you see this one. It could get to the line though it has moves pretty much. And this, I, I didn't expect this. This is what I expected. I expected something like this. Let's pull back A, B, C. Then so I, didn't, I didn't expect this very move. No, I, I did not. So for now, uh, I will not sell. And I will not buy as long as that pay is from is consigned until I understand what is, it is trying to do. Okay. Uh using USD. Using USD, I can only show you one hour because one hour is where we have something to show. Okay, let me check daily. You know where it is actually going. Okay, dropping is, is still possible. So, on the, on, the one hour, on the one hour, we have five waves in, in falls. You can see with one, you can see with one, with two, with three, A, B, C, with four. Our five is developing in five waves. You can see one, two, three. So, we will likely get four. And five. And after that, we will get at least W, X, Y. If it goes deeper, it will pierce this line. So now you have to bear in mind that this, this is just a, a projection. Sometimes well, five can be one bar, two bar, or three bars. But at most that it will, it will, be, it will be five bars. I, I just presume it will make five bars. Five, sorry, five swings. One, two, three, four, five. That's pre presumption. That's the forecast. So it may just uh, it may just it may just turn from here and give us W X Y. If even a, a short one, I move it again. So uh, just be bear in mind. We will get we will likely get another swing high before three waves move down, or the three waves might or the three wave move down might travel from here. Okay, so that's the two options I can see on this very pair. I mean, for our one hour time frame anyway. Are you the card? Hey, you look at here again. Uh, I have to show you another harmonic pattern that is not completed. So it can say complete. I don't know why I'm showing you this is in case if you see, as a matter of fact, let me show you something. As long as this level is still intact, we can still come back to this very. We can still come back to this very uh, we can still come back to complete this very pattern. So once until the market breaks this, we can still come back from here to this level before going up. So that's why I'm showing you this in case uh because now let me go to what I'm trying to complete to continue what I'm trying to explain to you. So now, because we have broken this channel, we may think that the selling is over 
and the final. No, we can still come back. So, of course, uh, you have a lot to trade anyway. So, when market opens, once we get a little pullback, first target, if it breaks it, pull back, second target. So, trading this is a very big trade. And once the market comes to this level, we will check whether we, we have a, a reversal. If you get this type of move, then expect this type of move. If not, the buying may continue. So the pattern might the pattern might be abandoned and not complete. Okay, so not all patterns complete. Some patterns we we form, then they will, they will play out eighty percent, and they they are not complete. And and this one this 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 one is have played about seventy percent of the last leg. Okay, are you the New Zealand? Are you the New Zealand is somehow, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but uh, this pair, I don't, I, I, I don't understand it. The, the movement is somehow strange in the sense that after the channel has broken, I expected the kind of ABC. And you can see it's continue going down, down. And so, for me, for now, this pair, I will avoid it until I understand what it, 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 it is trying to do. Okay, so the way it moves is somehow strange to me. And you do USD. And you do USD. I think I will show you one hour to know if we have a complete pattern. Okay, on AUD USD, uh, my last forecast that we will have ABC. I move down. As you can see, the market just kept moving up, up and up and up. So we failed on this. The, not, the, not that we failed re really, because failing is when you enter a trade and you incur loss. That's when you fail. But this one, the my analysis, my analysis failed. So analysis, analysis to, to fail is not that bad omen because nobody knows what, what the market will do. We only forecast what the market will do. Okay, so now what do we have here? We have one, one, two, Three, four, five. So this is five waves. This is five waves. So what do we expect? It's simple. We expect three waves. I don't know how it will look. Whether it will be shallow. I don't know whether it will be shallow or deep, but I'm looking at three waves. Once I get three waves, I will look for buy. That's the only, that's the only message I have on this pair. Okay, so let me take four hours to know what we have there. Okay, oh, four hours. We have a uh, selling channel. Okay, the channel is broken already. So it's a, it has broken. Maybe the next move will be a retest. Something like this. So for now, for this reason, uh, for this reason, I think buying the selling don't make sense again on this very chart. Selling don't make any sense anymore. Unless we get a sharp reversal uh, price action. Okay, let me try to know if I can do more. Let me try to know if I can do more. Okay, so let's go to gold. 
good. Uh, just on our last forecast, remember uh, remember we said we four is expected to end at the blue balls. Watch out for back up top. Now it has come it has uh, completed. And I remember I told you that possibly we four have ended here. I said it and because I know sometimes Crochet can, can be shallow. And I told you where five will get to this blue box. So it's a, it's a got to the blue box. Will it extend? Uh, I think it will. Mm -hmm. I think it will extend. But even if it, it doesn't extend, uh, gold and silver is a buy market now. So, I don't think about selling gold or silver right now. So bear that in mind. So we may, for now, for now, I'll be looking at, maybe if, if, this, if, this, if this doesn't extend, it may go down from here, A, B, C. Once you get three waves, or something like this, this type of move. That's corrective move anyway. Then another buy will take place. So that's the only thing I can say about gold now. So let's check silver. So silver, Just like gold, I told you that silver, silver can come to our blue box, though it may extend. You can see it, it didn't extend. And I said, try to catch the web thread. Mm -hmm. Now, this move, I'm not, I'm not just so happy, I'm not just impressed about this move because I, spent, I, extended, I expected a sharp move towards this level, maybe before breaking it, but it, though it moved uh, and it did this before going up again. And uh, the, the sharp move I'm, I'm talking about was visible on our time frame. Let's check one hour and see. Okay, so this move, I think it's sharp enough, though with many candles. Anyway, the issue, the, the important thing, thing is that our, our, our focus is that silver and gold will go up and they were going up. So that's, that's the thing. So I'm looking for buy again. I, I closed my silver buy. I didn't, I, I didn't buy gold. I only bought silver. So I closed my buy. I will be looking for other buy again. When the market opens this week, I will check. Okay, thanks, JPY. You see this? I don't see thanks, JPY going nowhere. Nevertheless, watch, watch out for one hour for bicep top. The bicep top workout, and we are going up. Here yeah, again, I said a strong move above the yellow line is a confirmation for buy. So you have a strong move above the, the yellow line. So let me now cancel this. I have served the purpose. Let me remove it now. So now, what do we expect here? I only expect two things. One, or maybe two or three. One, uh, this we may get a contracting flat. That is, we, we left a, a, a little a reversal and go up. Or we get a zigzag. In that case, the market will go lower before going up. Okay, so uh, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, 
you may see get a move down. And we make a new low from here. That's the possible. But for now, I'm looking for one more move up. After the 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 after the correction, I'm looking for one more move up before we get uh, before we get uh, a cell set up. And I think we are. <clears throat> I think something is forming. Maybe a triangle. You may think it. You may think it triangle on this pair, like A, B, C, D, E. Then drop before this. It's possible. Though too early to say. So, but I have seen uh, the pattern trying to emerge. But for now, let's focus on what is happening here. Okay. Before this, so watch out for that. Pass USD. But let me check what we wrote to know whether it's working or not. Here, I I said Web two was so deep, and we likely not drop any any further. Watch out for buy setup. Okay, yes, this web two was so deep, so deep. So, and uh, the buy have started. The strong move above the blue box will trigger buying for web three. And of course, the strong move moved uh, away from the blue box. So, let me remove it. It has solved the problem. You can see how our, our analysis work. Okay. So you can join us if, if, if you're willing to learn. You join. You, you let me know first of all. Join our uh, our Telegram chat or our WhatsApp. If you want to join the, the students, you, you, you let me know. You only pay the two money and join us. So the buying continues. Okay. Mm, uh, likely, you will get a little delay here. Then we break this. The two delay, we break this. For now, Web3 is spot, in my opinion, Web3 is spot is trying to play out. Okay, next is the uh, pound chef. Pound chef. First, we, we have a pattern here. So the pattern is still developing. So, but this is just a projection where the market is going. But that now, the market is still going down. I'm showing you this to, to know that when we begin to buy, the buying will last for a long time. That's the why I'm, I'm showing you this. That when we begin to buy, we will have in mind that we are going to 1.3. Okay, so that, that's why I'm, I'm showing you this. So now let's check for hours. The flowers you can see that uh, flowers, you can see the, that the market is, is dropping. Now, what is the expectation? The expectation is that the market will, will, will keep dropping. And the market may keep dropping, maybe it will give us something like this and drop again. But we likely not to go lower than this blue box. Then from here, we will likely get this. Maybe after that, before the final one for the big, this pattern, this pattern and this is the same. 
The only difference is that this one is playing on four hours. This is playing, play, playing on daily. So this one we first complete. Then this one we complete. I mean, this one can complete within uh, within one month. But this can may take three, four, five, six months to complete the, the week one. So that's the difference. Okay. Pounds card. Pounds card. Another move we didn't expect. Another move I didn't expect. I expected uh, this pair to, after dropping like this, give us something like this before dropping. But it did not do that. Rather, it kept dropping straight away. Now, what next do we expect? Once we get a proper break of this bear channel, expect another drop. Then after that, the buying. Okay. So what am I trying to say? We are still expecting the market to go to these blue balls. That's the message. So we expect it to go to the blue box before the buying continues again. Pounds New Zealand. Pounds New Zealand is selling very, very fast. Not very, very fast. So I, I expected the, the market to give us a buy move. Okay, but rather it dropped. It, 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 it dropped again. Now, this dropping, will it continue? Will the dropping continue? Are we going to get something like this again? I don't know. When the market begins, when, when the market opens, we now check. Or whenever a market is, is behaving the way I don't expect, I, I only do one thing. I leave it alone uh, for the time being. I focus on others that are moving the way I expected. But that's one thing very good about the market. There are so many things to trade. So if a perfect trade is moving the way you don't expect, you just leave it and focus on others. Those pounds are and pounds uh, USD. It almost the same thing. So I, I got it to turn around here. It, it dropped, but within the, the, within the channel. Okay, for longer now, the market have moved within the, the channel. They have come to, to the channel again. Likely another buying opportunity. This time again, it may come to, it will come here again. So for those who trade the pounds, uh, you may look for buy opportunity from here again. Pounds AUD. Pass AUD, another surprise. Okay. The surprise is that I expected it to, to go up from here. To go up from here. I, I expected it, it to, to go up from here. Rather, it keeps dropping. How long, will, how long will it drop? I don't know. But if we get correction again, so let it drop again. But for now, I will leave it alone. Okay. So as I said earlier, when the market is going to be, be, be in a way I, 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 I don't expect, I leave it. I focus on, on the ones that are behaving the way I expected. Okay. New Zealand card. I got into the target 
to our target. Is I broken this level? We need to see go. Okay, there are chances that it will still go up, but in overall market, is <clears throat> on this time frame, excuse me, think it is going down. Then it shows it's going down. So, all this is correction. So how far will it go? For now, I cannot say, I, I cannot say, but maybe it may form, it may be forming a triangle. Let me show you. This move up, made the, the tri triangle invalid. Okay, this is uh, this is a shape of, shape of a triangle, but this very uh, can this very candle, this very timber has made, has made the, the triangle invalid. If not, this is a b c d e. If 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 if, if, if not that, that this uh, timber has if I invalidated the, the candle, I will expecting the price to come down. Because that's how triangle behaves. But now triangle is ruled out. So what do we have? Let me just one hour. Okay. This move has been much. So let's try to see what we can do on this. Okay, two things. The market may keep the market may, may keep going with this trend line. But if it breaks it, maybe something like this and do something like this, then selling will make sense. But for now, I would trade this because I don't like the, the structure. So I, I focus on other phase. Likewise, you can do so unless you see another better reason to sell it or buy it. New Zealand JPY, New Zealand JPY, we expected, we expected the price to drop from the blue box, but it did not. Rather, it keeps going up. Now, I say it again, and, I, and I, I have said it. Never you enter a trade because you see it, it is in the blue box. I keep saying it. That is what we call buy setup, sell setup. If, if you don't see it, do not just. It's true that many times the market uh, turns or reverses from the blue box. Nevertheless, it's not guaranteed. So this, this is just another example. It, it's not guaranteed. So don't buy or sell because it is, it is in the blue box. No, it can violate the blue box target and keep going up. Just, just like this, this very one. So what do we expect here now? You see, it, it's, a, it's a broken channel. Now, this channel has been broken before. Let me, this channel has been broken before and, and come back. Today again, it is broken. Will, will it come back again? I don't know. So my advice is that we watch. Maybe we may get to we may get to this level and come back and come and do like this. So this may happen. So, but for now, not guaranteed. Not guaranteed. We may see. Another selling the way it, it ha, 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 happened here may happen again, so it can happen. So, that's the two things that may happen. But in any of them, 
if the sale begins, I will know and I can sell because I will see a setup before I sell. If the buying continues, I'll find the buy setup and I will buy. If you don't know what setup is, why not join our class? You only pay the two money. We teach you all this and we meet the trade with confidence. President Chef. Mr. Chef, we expect the market to reverse at the blue box. It did. And we said if it closes above this, the buying will continue. It has closed above this. Now, will the buy continue? For me, I think it will. But one thing, I'm pretty sure of that when it comes to this level, to just do something like this before crossing it, or it may, it may even do what's happened here. It may just begin to go down again. So I can't, I'm going to, to the channel again. So anything can happen on this pair again. That's why it's better that you know how to spot a buy or sell setup. Had a chef. Had is going back to the upper line of the channel. So what do I what do I expect here? I expect this type of move. And oh, my mouse. What's wrong with you? So I'm expecting something like this. Ah, oh, it may do this, come here and come back to the, the channel. So these two things are possible. But the main thing, I am of the opinion that you will first of all buy before selling, if, this, if the selling will occur. So what am I trying to say? Don't just enter buy from here or enter sell from here. It doesn't make sense. Let it give us a corrective structure. Then we will buy, okay? <clears throat> Chef JPY. Chef JPY. <clears throat> this is another pair that is uh, showing us uh, a pattern, a harmonic pattern. So if this pattern plays out, we will likely see this pair, not the 118 at least, 118, 117.5, 117.5. Okay, but for now, we focus on four hours and what is happening on four hours. So what are we having on four hours? This move is corrective move, okay? So, I'm expecting the market to sell. But this, the way it, it is moving, I will not buy the, it, the way it is moving because it is on a corrective mode. So buying or selling in a corrective mode that be counterproductive. So just like entering buy from here, entering buy from here. I didn't buy from here. To me, it doesn't make sense. Okay. I would like to see it come back to this level, even break it, give us a deep move. 
So, but not the most it will happen, but the way it is happening here now, I cannot sell from here or buy. Let us do this and then I will sell before I talk about buying. KJPY. KJPY. I expected uh, it to be reversed within this place. The I mentioned that if it breaks this level and build the channel, we look for buy. Right now, it goes far above the blue box. Let me remove the blue box. Let me also remove this. And now, what do we expect now? Two things. One is this. A triangle, a, a zigzag, and a buy. Anyway, this, this is the only, only thing I, I'm expecting. This is the only thing I am expecting. A zigzag and a buy. Okay, so I don't I, I don't expect anything apart from this. Not that not that anything else will not happen, but I, I'm talking about what I'm expecting. Okay. So watch out. I don't know how deep it will be, but from here to here, maybe at worst. Yeah. <laughs> so now uh, there's something I want you to know. Once the market goes to this level, it will go up. But in case it will make a double zigzag, that's the when you see something like this. That's when it will come deeper to the blue box. But a single, a single zigzag, we end it here. Double one, we end it here. So look for buy, look for buy. Okay, let me touch only two things before I, I conclude copper and nickel. Because of a special request from my friend in India. Okay. Well, copper is doing well now. I think in accordance with our last uh it's our last podcast that it will likely break this channel and, and, and keep going up okay so uh first thing it will break this and keep going up second thing it will it will likely make little correction so now something like this something like this before going up so so I only see a reason to go up. <coughs> Excuse me. No reason for selling it anymore on copper. Let's take a nickel. Nickel. Oh, yes. Okay, Nico, after uh, a kind of disappointment, this didn't happen. Now it's going, is trying to come to this level again. Now there's, there's something you will know. When the market begin to test a particular line, first, second, third, so, 
If it doesn't break it and go lower, it will not break it again. You may you will likely see it come to this level. Then likely break it and go further up. So uh, no need trying to sell Neko from here. It doesn't make sense at all. Okay, and that's where we are coming to an end. If I have time, I will touch cryptos. And when cryptos is going up, you know, there are some people who don't know technical analysis. They don't, they don't know a lot of analysis, but they are bent on confusing others. I don't understand why people, why people will, be, will be, 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 be able like, like that. Somebody was making a one useless analysis that, that Bitcoin is going back to 5,000. And I was, are you crazy? Uh, you know, you see in my, okay, I didn't post this on, uh, I just posted this on our Telegram channel and on our WhatsApp channel. Now, I will talk, I will only say this here, then I will uh, stop maybe on Sunday, I will uh, make more cryptos. Now, when you have knowledge about, when you have technical, technical knowledge, you have it. When people are making arguments about Bitcoin, I draw this, I told them we have three options here. First, the market is going up from here. Sorry, first, we have double zigzag. You can see it, five swings. One, two, three, four, five. That's double zigzag. Then from here, it will go up. Secondly, the market can go, secondly, which is the, the, the worst option? That is, you can go as deep as coming to the blue box at for 3,000 something. Then thirdly, it will reverse from here and go up. Now, what's happened? It have reversed from here and have broken the upper channel. So what again, Bitcoin is now going back to 50,000, 51,000 and above. So that is the knowledge we have. That's the knowledge we teach. So people just uh, draw some line, begin to talk some, some gibberish. Okay, so, um, um, I don't know, but, I will bring end to this video from here, then I may say touch other cryptos. And, and uh, as a matter of fact, let me continue because I'm not I may not have time again. Uh, cryptos are now going back up. So this is Ethereum. It's now going up again. So I don't know what I'm trying to be saying again. Uh, cryptos make a correction and people are shivering. People don't like to see the markets go down. They only want to see <clears throat> that moving up. But it, 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 doesn't, it, it doesn't work like that. The market moves uh, in both ways. So no need to be afraid that the market is pulling back or, or correcting. Yes, I repeat. They're not, they are not resuming going up. So people, people don't even have anything to say much on cryptos, not too much to say on cryptos. Cryptos are, are back in their feet. The, the correction does not, uh, doesn't do any harm to the market. Markets we move, we buy and sell. That's how market works. So there's nothing, uh, nothing to be worried about. We have this. Maybe have this, but it's unlikely. This can be the end of the declaration. So I just expecting a move above there and continue going up. So the market is just we are we are bull, we are more we are back to bullish. If you have if you have been watching my my video, I kept saying it. I see it and continue the market. That the bear market of this season will not may, may not linger like other ones. 
and by, by the grace of God, it, 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 it doesn't linger. But when I say that Bitcoin will go about to 18,000, I was laughing at them. We were saying, no, it's not going to happen. And it didn't happen. So BNB, you see it's going up again. I even think it will drop deeper. It didn't just go back up again. So uh, those who those who failed to buy coin, thinking it will go to zero. Anyway, maybe they have the help to, to, to deceive. Anybody that's watching my analysis hmm, and they are losing money, mostly on crypto, it means you don't believe in, in my analysis. And then it's better you don't watch because it makes no meaning to you. If, if you watch it and say, make some silly mistakes. So why was in your time I'm watching it? I have said, um, I have time to teach people now what I'm doing. Time will come when I will not have time. Now, now, I, now I, I have time. Join my class and I will teach you. We will know when to buy. We will know when to sell. It's important you know when to buy and you know when to sell. Okay? So this is what we expect this level. Okay, like it's something like this, and it, it will break. It will surely break. So I don't know. The coins are going back up. Doge, Doge back to the nine something. Doge made uh, Doge made a. Uh, Okay, let's make a try uh, a zigzag correction. So now it's going up. This is what I expect to break this place. Just the way Bitcoin broke, broke it. So all the coins are going up. All the coins are going up. ETN. ETN is still lagging. CSZ. It's going up. CRO is going up. VET is going up. ADA is going up. ADA is performing the most, more than others. It's going up. So what are, what this channel? <clears throat> Spiral lumen is going up. It's corrected. Correction. It's not going up again. So which one? I will. Do, I will just. I've shown you made many of them. So let me check the Shiba. Shiba is still lagging. Oh my God. Shiba went too, too deep. Okay. There's no harm. Yeah, it, it went too deep. So hopefully, hopefully when it goes above this, it will go back up. So that's what all I can say. So thank God that I could cover all this space. Thank God I could cover all this space. So I don't have anything to I don't have to worry again about the weekly analysis 
I've covered all of them. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Remember, you can join our class, join our Telegram channel, like and share our video, make comments, ask questions. Join and learn how we do what we do. If you're impressed, join us. Thank you. God bless you.